one of my last videos, it's Mazzy Oz by the way, on one of my last videos someone asked to see my card collection. Now I have already done videos about getting cards, but I thought I'd do a quick one. When I say quick, I'm now looking at my collection and it's getting quite big. Um, but I will, I thought, well I'll do, I'll do one with everything that I've got, because I've got some new ones recently. Uh, I'm not going to be opening every deck. Um, I'm going to open, there's three decks that I will open. Uh, and you'll understand why when I open them. Right, so I'm going to start off with the basic ones. So, of course, I've got Bicycle Blue and Bicycle Red. They're just normal, bog-standard cards. Um, I've also got these. These are really nice. Now, I've got a sealed one for my collection. And I've got an open one. A good friend of mine gave me these. And these are the Twilight ones. Um, they've got a nice, beautiful blue inlay with like a green going around it so it stands out from other bicycle cards so yeah I've got a sealed deck that I've got in my collection and I've got a deck that opens the colour on these are actually really nice if you haven't seen them before um, it's a nice they're basically two different tones of green by the looks of it see the hearts and the diamonds are a light green and then you've got the spades and the clubs are a slightly darker green. They look a bit black on the end, don't they? They are. I'd, yeah, they're, they're dark green. So they're, they're quite a nice deck. But again, it's just a basic um, bicycle deck. So that's cool. You can, these apparently are rare, but I've seen them on Amazon. Uh, it comes in a pair, so I might as well show you the other ones. And I've got those sealed as well. And I've also got those open. So basically, they're, they're a pair, and one's called Twilight, which is the one with the blue going down. I really need to get my left and right done on this bloody camera. Going down here. And then you've also got Rejuvenate, which is exactly the same, but it's got gold. So, yeah, so that's them. Um, let's see. Right, well, I'll move on to... Uh, I've got normal ones that most collectors have got. I've got the Ghost White and the Ghost Black. Both of those are open, so I need to replace those. In time, I'm going to replace all the ones that are open because I haven't got them in my collection. I've got the Scorpion um, cards. They're okay. They're nice. Yeah, if you haven't seen them, I'll quickly... But this isn't really a um, review video because there's, there's a lot more people out there that do much better ones than me, but for those who haven't seen them, they are very nice. The you know the pips are nice fluorescent white and yellow, and the court cards are just really nice as well. Um, you also get a gap card for them, or a couple of gap cards actually. Uh, there's I think th there's there's these and there's a spider deck as well. The spider deck is exactly the same, but it's where this is yellow and uh, white and that. I think the spider one is uh, not too sure, but I think it's mainly the colours that are different. And of course, the one's got spider, the one's got scorpion. Okay, we have got the uh, series 1800s, uh, and they're all old and crusty. Any of you haven't seen them before, just look on YouTube and there's loads of reviews um, about these decks so okay we are now going to move on to my favourite deck at the moment I absolutely love it so I've actually got three of these I've got two sealed so I've got one for my collection and I've got another one for when these wear out because I absolutely love them these are of course the Bicycle Arch Angel and I just I just love them ever since the first time I opened them they've just they, they, I can move them really, really well. Oh, let me just see if I can do this. Right, I'm working on a... Well, I'll do it and then you can then just... Right, so you swing there and then you come back and then you open the deck. Put it on camera. So basically, you swing and then you come back into the deck. As you bring it back into the deck, then go into a pull it back and bring it on top so 
also it's a way of controlling the top card as well. So basically, I've really got away. So you swing cut the top to get a little bit, and then bring it across, and then sort of cut into the. <laughs> God, I hate this. Do it properly. <laughs> so I apologise for me. That's it, right? So you basically cut back into the deck, bring it around, and then go into a, whatever that's called. I do know the name for that, but I don't know off the top of my head. So that's something I'm working on. But yeah, um, Archangels, for me personally, best. I just love them. Um, people might not agree with me, but I just love working with them. So yeah, they're my Archangel. And moving on. I've got these, these are beautiful, my son bought me these for my birthday, um, you can't really appreciate it, I don't think, on the camera, but the box is top notch, it's an absolutely beautiful cardboard, um, it's embossed, um, and this is the Artisan, which again, there's, there's reviews out there on the Artisan deck, um, but I just love the box, it's really, it uh, looks expensive, um, so my son got me those for my birthday. Um, I've also got the Guardians, again, if you want to see a review on these, check it out on YouTube, there's loads of people, good people that do really good reviews. This is just basically my collection, so i got the Guardians. Also, I have the Tragic Royalty, they're quite an interesting deck, um, it's mainly the, the face cards that are all custom. Um, Steam Hulk. I got these because I got them mixed up, and you'll see why in a minute with another deck that I've got. I thought these were the deck that when you like pull them right out, they saw things moving, but you don't. Not with these. It's just it's nice cards. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's look. Yeah, the back design on these are brilliant. I don't like the Jokers. I think the Jokers are just bizarre. standard there is absolutely no, nothing except for the back it's absolutely nothing no difference in these cards um, which is a bit of a disappointment but there you go so that's the steampunk to be fair to, to these cards I haven't worked with a lot of them uh, since I started using the Archangel I just use them um, I rarely use any other deck which I really should but some of these decks might be brilliant Right, this is the deck that I got it mixed up from. So I've got two. I've got one in my collection, which is the Mechanics, the Mechanics deck. Now, for anyone who hasn't seen the Mechanics deck, again, I'm not going to show you the deck as a review, because there are reviews out there, but I will show you this. And I just think this is groovy, and if I can get this right, I'll be a bloody camera. Basically, the reason why I like this deck, and a lot of people like this deck, is if you look at the, the cogs, when you ripple it, Cogs move. I think that is just really cool. Um, when you first get them, it's at its best because obviously if it's in, if it's like um, ace right through, as, a, as it would be when you open it, then it's got a really nice routine to it. But you can you can do it in any way, and it still gives you the illusion that the cogs are turning. So that's quite a groovy thing. So I've got those. Saving my best to last. I just got a deck today. today. Yeah, today. Came today. So I thought I'm saving that for today. Oh, yeah, they're brilliant. I love them. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I've got the Carnival. Uh, these are the Earth, uh, Earth Tones. Earth Tone 9. And these are quite nice. And they're those ones. Uh, I've got the Carnival Assassin. Which I think are really groovy. I, I love the, the back on these with the skeleton and, and all that lot, so they're quite groovy. Got Tally Ho, I just got a pack of them just to see what they were like. They're not bad. They're a decent card, I suppose. I've also got the reverse backs. And these I think are the last cards. Yeah, these are quite groovy. These are bit like the shadow, uh, not the shadow, the uh, ghost decks, and the pitch cards stand out really nice on this deck, and it handles quite nicely as well, I did like that, 
So yeah, so we got those. Right, now we're moving on. Show you those, we'll put them there. Right, these ones are just sealed because I haven't, uh, I'm not opening them because I've got the tuna deck. So, so a friend, good friend of mine gave me my own Shadow Masters. So I've got a deck of Shadow Masters. My son bought me, this is an interesting one. This is this is um, the Alchemini 1977 England. Now, the thing that for me personally is interesting about this, and if you look at the name, my God, my camera skills are shit. Can you see that? Thanks. But what I'm trying to say, this is a pack of playing cards. But I also, which I've never done a video about, but I also do tarot reading. And the latest deck that I bought, which I bought it about sometime last year, is the same name. It's exactly the same name. Alchemy, Alchemy, I can say it right, 1977. But this is the tarot deck. So I, I've, got a, oh, I've already seen the review on it. So I've got a good idea, a rough idea what these are looking like. But it's interesting that it's a tarot deck, um, exactly the same name as the playing card. This one's Delirium. Um, the backs of these have got like a, an illusion type thing. And we've got Limited Edition Second Series. They're sealed. Now, the deck that I really like. These came today. Ha! My son got me them for my birthday. I got two packs. Got one for my collection. Got one that I'm going to wear to show you. And that is. As soon as I found out that these were coming out, I had to get these. These are brilliant. And the main reason why these are brilliant, come on, we've got to do them, is the fan on these is just, I don't know if you can actually see it on this camera, but the fan is beautiful, absolutely So, that's my card collection. I've got other decks as well, like gimmick decks and that, but that is my card collection. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you didn't take up too much of your time. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. And I will catch you all again soon.